One Nation Senator Rod Cullerton has changed his mind about whether he'll vote for legislation in the upper house as he faces a high court challenge against his election. It follows a similar court challenge against former Senator Bob Day. The federal government has downplayed the instability it has created, but Labor says it's another sign of parliamentary chaos. With more, I'm joined by political reporter Francis Keeney from Parliament House in Canberra. Francis, good afternoon. What's the latest that Senator Cullerton has had to say today? Well, Senator Cullerton initially said that he would not be voting on any contentious pieces of legislation due to the prospect of a High Court challenge. That High Court challenge surrounds a larceny conviction against his name when he was elected. And he argues that he is able to remain in Parliament because that conviction was later annulled. Now, that, however, he has now said that he will be voting for, the, for any legislation that's put before the Senate when Parliament resumes next week. Now, the government will be breathing a sigh of relief over that. But the opposition leader, Bill Shorten, says it's another sign of chaos and follows on from the surprise resignation of former Family First Senator Bob Day. Let's have a look at what Mr Shorten had to say. How on earth does it get to a set of circumstances where um, someone's not even eligible, potentially not even eligible to run for the Senate? And clearly it, it's the case that someone in the government was aware of the problems well before the last election, and now we're in the state of chaos. We don't know who can vote. We don't know uh, who's eligible to vote. <laughs> really? Look, seriously, there are two cross benches whose eligibility will be considered by the High Court. The rest of the cross bench are unaffected. This, you, you assert the, the, the Senate is in chaos. There is no chaos. The Senate will continue. Francis, is this going to have any impact on the government's ability to get legislation through Parliament? Well, it potentially might. We heard the Prime Minister laughing it off there. Uh, but he needs eight of the ten crossbenchers to get anything through Parliament now that Bob Day has, has resigned and, and his position at that seat of his... And the future of that is unclear, but there's the Australian Building Construction and Commission and the registered organisations bills, as well as the same-sex marriage plebiscite. Now, while the plebiscite is due to be debated in Parliament next week, the federal government has decided against introducing those two industrial relations bills through Parliament next week. So it's, it's decided they're not completely certain that they're able to get those two bills, which triggered the double dissolution election earlier this year, through Parliament. Francis Keeney, thanks so much. Thank you.